Uh, let me do this. Send. Okay, I think we're on. Hey! There he is. Who knew that we'd work that out so quickly? Wow, you're starting. Already started. No, I, I, I didn't know how to request to be in it. So mate, I'm putting worry. myself in the same useless boat that you're in. I got you, mate. I got you. Don't worry. You, yeah. you worked it out much faster. Oh, how you doing, man? I'm good. Apparently, I'm a minute late. I've already got the people at Disney uh, letting me know. <laughs> Red dot on your forehead. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear some noise outside. Um... No, oh, you won't hear them coming. You won't hear them coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just it. Um, how you been? I'm good. I've not spoken to you in four or five hours. A couple hours. This yeah. Is, this is funny because I wondered how it would change uh, the dynamic of the conversation, being aware that uh, there was getting we were getting running commentary the entire time. So uh, I'll try to not be as self-conscious as I uh, normally Yeah. Don't be as awkward as you usually are. <laughs> Coming from you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, all right. So, so um, tonight, big night. It is. It is. Uh, for those. R.I.P. You... Albert. I mean. Um... Uh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, no, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun to just <laughs> slide that in right away? Um, um, how you, you feeling? I. Uh... I'm, I don't know. I, I feel a little nervous. I saw they uh, they've teased some things in the trailer, and um, seems like they're uh, you know really um, hyping up what will be a, an epic you know back half of the season. Um, I think uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be some twists tonight and some surprises, and um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep vague so I don't get in trouble. I'm just <laughs> trying to make sure I don't say anything specific. Um, but uh, I'm really excited for people to see some of our work. I think um, I think a lot of effort was put into specifically this episode. So at least uh, on my end, I don't want to speak for everybody. But um, how are you? How about you? How do you feel about uh, coming back for the second? I'm half? excited. You know, it's, it's it's always nice when the show's on air. Um, <clears throat> as you say, we put a lot of hard work in, so it's nice when it's then out into the world and people can have an opinion on it. Hopefully, it's a good opinion. Yeah. Um, but you know, I was thinking something today. I was looking through the the questions that we got sent, and there one jumped out at me. Oh, but I I have your opinion on it. Okay. Um, and it's never been specifically said within the show, which to my mind means it's up to us to decide in this very moment. Okay. Okay. Where does Albert sleep? Albert, where does he sleep? At does Buck have a second bedroom? Are you on the couch? Are we top and tail in it? Um, like, I always assumed it was like a Harry Potter under the stairs situation, like in a cupboard. Um, you know, wow. you only let dark. me out times. Uh, you only let me out. That's uh, that. That's dark. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it turns out um, Albert's a wizard, and uh, <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. There's light at the end of the tunnel there. Um, okay. So you th you think under the stairs? Yeah. There's not a cupboard under the stairs, but okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I I've always can... thought maybe maybe on the couch. Okay. We don't we um, don't share a bed. Both of us are, are dodging the elephant in the room. We don't share the one bed that's in the apartment. Is that? <laughs> it's up the staircase. You know, I figure. <laughs> Abbott drinks a lot. Would I have to carry him up the stairs all the time to get him there? Um. So so. Yes, yeah, uh, so I, I think you're on the couch, but you think you're in a cabinet or a cupboard somewhere, uh, somewhere in the room. That's so funny. Um, he does drink a lot. Um, it's so funny. I have to tell mates, like, you know, people ask, you know, what I'm up to on the show and stuff. And, you know, I'll, get, I'll sort of just have to answer pretty late, like, abruptly, like, what does any 20-something-year-old do in Los Angeles? And um, I've defiled a couple of couches uh, so far. I've, uh, yeah, yours and chimneys. Um, oh, yeah. I, I seem to be, you know, quite debaucherous and um, just enjoying Hollywood living. But uh, I was going to ask you, uh, when, I, when I obviously, you know, joined the show, I went back and, and watched uh, a lot of the earlier seasons. And um, he seems to be repeating in the 
footsteps of uh, a certain character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you if that reminded you of anybody. Yeah, I, I, I did. I did like the idea of when when I first read that we were going to be roommates, that it could almost be like an older brotherly figure to be like, "Hey, man, I've I've done what you're doing now. It ain't the way." Yeah. Um, I, I wondered if any of that would ever creep into it. Um, so yeah, no, no, there's definitely a hint of old, uh, old Buck 1.0 in there. Mm, mm. Um, how did you feel when you joined the show? Were you, were you nervous? Were you intimidated? Were you, I mean, I don't want to say that I'm intimidating, but no, <laughs> were you, by, just by, by, by everything. Um, I felt, uh, you know, I was nervous. Um, mum, mum was happy I had Kenny there because she felt like, you know, he has a Korean obligation to look after me. So um, it's kind of like go joining a high school, but your your older brother already goes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you have a, a softer landing. And um, yeah, super nervous. You were very welcoming, which then I got to know the real you and turned out to be a complete... Uh, yeah, but at the beginning, that's the important part. Yeah, Let I you like settle in and then fine. make you incredibly uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and then you... Um, you know, I mean, we're talking old school bullying, you know, atomic wedgies. Whenever I had like my scripts, my script books, you just smack them down on the floor, walk off laughing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Reading. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, everybody's been really kind. It's, it's been tough uh, in some ways um, to have joined the show um, properly uh, at a time when we're being told to distance. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm trying my best to sort of get to know, uh, everybody I can on set, but the only cue I have is this, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, we, we actually worked one of those first days back together. Remember where, uh, the, the, the end of the first episode where, or maybe the end of the second episode where you are talking to Maddie and Chimney on FaceTime and I come in and that was, I think one of the first days shooting. There's that picture of us standing side by side in our tents. Right, um, right. So yeah, we were we were right in there at the. In fact, you worked the very first day, didn't you? You and um. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer and I we were the guinea pigs. Um, I'll let Aisha said something. By everybody, you mean Aisha? What oh. did you say to do with everybody? Did you say everybody's welcoming and and uh, and all that? Oh, well, you didn't mean Aisha then. Can we know? Can we talk about how great she is for a second? Can we? Uh... Oh, I'd really rather not. <laughs> I was so okay. So uh, going back to season three. My first day then was the karaoke scene. Mm. So I had just met you guys and it was going to be so awkward to be like, I already had it in my head. I was panicking like, oh, I'm going to get like introduce myself and then I'm going to go up on stage, sing Elton John. Am I going to have a backing track? Are they going to, you know, are they going to judge me purely based on this? And, um, and we I did. was sweating, mate. Yeah. Um, like, it, you know, it was originally going to be me and you. I did hear that. Did you mention that at some point? Yeah. And and you no, backed no, no, out. No, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody <laughs> wants to hear that. Backed out. Um, so instead oh. we got we got lucky because we got to hear Aisha's incredible singing voice. But yeah, nobody. There's nothing she can't do. But but yeah. hey, you, you ended up living with me. Hey. You ended up living with me. I ended up living with you. Um, I was gonna. So actually, now flipping the question on to you, how does it feel? You know, you were the rookie of the show, uh, as you sort of mentioned when you first started, just being the youngest, purely just off of that fact alone. And now being in season four, welcoming other cast members, is there a sense of comfortability now in the show for you? Have you started to get a little, um, like, no, you know, like at the back of your hand, it's the well-oiled machine that you sort of, um, you know, your way around the place is there. Is that the point you're at now, or is it, does the job sort of continue to surprise you and, and keep you on your toes a little bit? Um, I think it's too dangerous, a little dangerous, if you ever get too complacent with the, like, I know this, like the back of my hand mentality. Right. Um, I think that it's, it's always much more beneficial, certainly personally, um, if, if you feel a little bit like, okay, right, what are we doing? How are we going to do this? How are we going to work this one out? We um, so, so, yeah, so I, I think... In some respects, yes, but also I'm very cautious of that sinking too far in where, you know, I want to come to work and I want to feel some sense of like, hey, man, you got you got to bring it today. Right. Um, uh, Aisha just commented that you guys missed out because of quarantine on making your album together. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. That we, would that would have been a thing. That would have been something. Should we be should we be getting heroin on this? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Um, but we only have but two minutes left. Two minutes left. I'm only contractually obligated to speak to you for fifteen minutes. Oh, and I am out. Oh god. No. <laughs> um so tonight's episode. So Albert is involved in an incident. He is. Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, it's been in the traders. Okay. Um Albert Albert is involved in an incident. Um I have a question for you about it. Oh, okay. I don't know if you know that I know this, and I'm sorry to embarrass you. Oh, no. Is it true that in the filming of tonight's incident, Mm -hmm. did you throw up a little bit? (laughs) What? Who told you that? I told one person that, and everybody found out. Who told you that? I I can't even. <laughs> I just I just hear things. I just I, uh, I, people don't even know that I'm listening. Sometimes I'm just behind corners like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, is that true? And 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 if so, do you feel like that added to your performance? Yeah, uh, yeah. I can't ex- I can't exactly explain like why because uh, it'll give away a lot of the plot. Um, mm-hmm. But um, I did. I, I had a very cheeky. Thunder, as we say in Australia, um, it was very tactile. Uh, I was, uh, I basically, uh, yeah, I can't really explain it. Uh, if you get to tonight, you'll you'll understand why. But um, uh, my greatest piece of advice is time your snacks, time them very intelligently, schedule them in a way that they don't coincide with uh, any particular uh, uh-huh. any, any particular. Yeah. Listen, I'll tell you, and Aisha just said it now that she was, had her thoughts on that. She had your back, though. She was... Uh, oh, uh, I feel like she, she might have had my back. Nobody's ever had my back. Well, that's... Uh, All right, it, just to let you know, I was also there, but... Uh, you, uh, no, 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 you definitely were for me. Uh, it's one of those things... Uh, okay, actually, this is nice to sort of bring it back to that. Um, feeling welcomed by the cast, I felt like you guys really stood with me, you know, um, during some of the time things to to get through and um yeah i just uh i'm eternally grateful to everyone uh, minus you you of course uh of course, yeah, obviously goes without saying yeah um uh, <laughs> but uh but no i um uh, yeah i really really adore the camera this cast has and and to um to have joined you know a couple seasons in there was definitely i had reservations of maybe how i'd be received but um it's been a very soft landing and um I like that we get to make on TV together. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree, and I have to say, like, obviously, it's a it's a big episode tonight, so I hope everybody tunes in. But you you, you really were a, a trooper through it, and you had some tough stuff, and and you hung in there, and it's not not easy to do that stuff. So oh. I, I wish you a lot of luck on your next show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, no, no, in all seriousness, you, you, you put in great work tonight, and I, I'm excited to see it on the screen. Um, I hope everybody who's watching this tunes in. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, um, we... And maybe... Before, it's also worth mentioning before we run off, that um, there's there's baby on the way, and we're going to become uncles. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Um, uncles is going to be big. Um, and I do have to ask quickly before you go, speaking of babies uh, and a potential mad baby tonight, uh, you your, yourself recently uh, picked up a new baby uh, in the form of Jade. Oh, my goodness. I was like, what do you know? <laughs> yeah, Ooh, yeah. That, was, that was a worrying moment. Um, yeah, my puppy. My puppy, yeah. Jade. Um, I just wanted to ask, uh, lastly, do you find yourself um, wanting to get home quicker now from set? Is there a bit of an aspect of wanting to get home? It's- uh, I sit in the car for 10 minutes before I go in. Hey? The opposite. <laughs> I get home and I just sit in the car and I think, all right, she's probably going to want to bite me. Yeah. <laughs> Puppies are hard work. I had no idea how, like, I know this is kind of naive, but obviously there's a lovely, cuddly aspect, but it's also hard work raising a puppy. I wouldn't know. I would not know. Uh, it is. I, I can I, tell I, you. I'll it's let, like I'll... a baby, but it's fast. Right, right. Well, uh, I think it's better off in the show than maybe we're getting experience as uncles, sort of yes. from that distance. You can get the baby back. Um, that's amazing. Well, hey. well, listen, man. Eight, seven central tonight on Fox. You'll see John Harlan Kim. Oliver Stark. As 
the Albert Hahn. Well, you're not playing Albert Hahn. I'm playing Albert. No, Hahn. no. I I introduced you, and then you were going to introduce me. <laughs> oh, and uh, he's playing. Uh... No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Moment's gone. Um, fuck. But all right. Yeah. Okay. I will. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll text you after the episode. I'll let you know how. I think you did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. It's okay. always good to see you. Yeah. You. <laughs> all right. Remember, you're me- just so you know. So I don't want you to get in trouble. You're meant to save the live when we come off of it. I, I'm. I'm. I'm getting some messages now about it. All right. Just making sure. <laughs> all right, man. I'll catch you soon. Later, brother. Bye, bye.